Hey, what's up? This is Chris on the longest way, trying as always to walk back from China to my home in Germany. Today is August the 20th, 2022. It's a Saturday. You guys are sleeping off. I don't know what you did last night. Partied. I'm here with uh, Jesus. And I'm happy again on this quiet road. Yesterday wasn't so nice because the Romanian main roads can be just horrible. Or like, they are horrible. But now I'm on this quiet country road here. As you can see, there's some traffic, but it's uh, just individual cars. And that means nobody needs to overtake anybody. And that means I feel safe. Or let's say safer. And so I'm happy here. We're getting kind of close to the Hungarian border. What's going on here? Why does this person have so many buses? Should I collect them or something? <laughs> Alright. This detour that we're taking is going to mean a little bit more distance and definitely a lot more hills. But it's worth it. There's supposed to be a lake up front. So I want to go there and check out the lake. Oh, and it's like 33 or 35 degrees or something Celsius. I don't know what that translates into in your weird Fahrenheit system, like 90 or something. <laughs> it's warm, let me tell you that. But I got a bunch of water. And so it's fine. Okay, that's a cute church, huh? I personally don't like wooden buildings. Like, I don't know, not this dark type of wood there on the roof. The lower part, maybe. But still, it's cute. It looks fairly new, too. Looks like somebody decided, okay guys, we need a wooden church. Maybe there was one here before. Definitely doesn't look old. But then what do I know? Oh man, that Jesus looks a bit fat, doesn't he? What's up with you, Jesus? Just catch yourself a little tummy there. <laughs> And a fat face. Nice. No fat shaming. Oh, door gets open when I walk past? Okay. Because I said something bad. You're not fat. You're just, you know, chubby. Rounded. Oh, man. There's wasps in there. They got a nest there. I'm not going to go anywhere near this. Maybe that's why I don't like wooden buildings, really. Not this type of wood, anyway. Okay, I don't know anymore. I had this plan to go to a lake up in the hills, but I don't know if you can hear it. The wind has gotten strong. And the weather report is talking about thunderstorms in the evening and during the night and in the morning so i don't know i don't know if i want to be at that lake there's nothing up there i checked on a satellite image if it gets bad up there <laughs> it's just me in a lake so i don't know there's a monastery up ahead I might just go there some monasteries have been nice, others have been shitty. Alright, that's an unfinished house. This is 
the caboose. <laughs> There's another Jesus. And uh, this is a choice here. I don't know if you can hear me with the wind. The way to the lake is that way. And then anyway, if I go or not, I would have to come back here and then take that way to continue going. And so with those things there on the horizon and with what my weather app tells me, <laughs> it's that way. Sorry, Lake. I might actually sit in that uh, bus stop for a while or maybe all night, I don't know. I need a place to hide from whatever is coming there. If it's like last time, help me God or Satan, you know, whoever. Good news, everyone. Well, it doesn't look like good news with the color of the sky there, but it's good news. I went to this restaurant in the village oddly huge and oddly fancy restaurant and I had some fries and then I ran into Rezvan who doesn't live here because he lives near the border because he works for the border police but his family lives here and so he was like what are you doing and then I told him and then he told me that his mom knows the priest in the monastery which is just ahead and so he put me in his car and we went to see his mom and then his mom called the priest and then the priest didn't pick up and then we all got into the car again and we went to the monastery which is just ahead and then we ran into the priest and the priest was like sure come over and so now we're coming over the caboose and I and the question is will we arrive before it starts coming down that I don't know but we can try. Oh, and um, well, something that might not be so nice. Rezvan told me that um, according to his information, it, it was gonna rain for three days straight. And it was gonna be bad. He said they got a yellow warning, a flood warning. So, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But uh, anyway, I'm happy about tonight because really that last thunderstorm, how that came down, don't want to get caught out in the open. Oh, and the priest said I should, I should have dinner with him. How am I going to do that? I had a huge serving of fries in that very fancy restaurant. All right, that didn't really work out. I mean, the not getting in the rain part. It rained really heavily for like a minute. Just enough time for me to put on the poncho. It's a new poncho. I don't know if you've noticed. And then it kind of stopped. But I'm still in the poncho. So. And so I walk around here in my poncho to the monastery. Why do they always come to me? Hey guys! Cow guys, cow girls. What is up? Do I look edible in my poncho? God, they're cute. God, they're cute. Look at that one. Hey! Such cute guys! There's my friend's mom. There's the monastery. There are the cows. Super excited and super cute. Like, honestly, don't put these in burgers. Like, just don't. Get some fucking Beyond Meat or whatever. Or like, get a tofu or seitan or something. Don't be assholes. I was an asshole for like 37 years. Bye. So this is the church of the monastery. This is the, I guess, the water fountain of the monastery. Yeah, this is the caboose of the monastery. And this is 
the quarters, I could have a legitimate party 